Hello, Sam Brooks from Tool Hut here. Today we're going to be programming a transmission control module on a 2012 Land Rover Revogue. Uh, I've installed a picture here. It's just a stock picture. It's not the actual car I'm working on. Just to give you a little bit of history on the car, I'm at a, I've been called to an independent shop to program this vehicle and that it came from a GM dealer. I suspect as I was told that it was purchased from the auction, the GM technician diagnosed it as needing a transmission control module based on information from the Land Rover dealer. There is not a Land Rover dealer, dealer nearby. The independent shop has an aftermarket scan tool, which I'm not going to mention what it is. They attempted to program it with their aftermarket scan tool and locked the first module. This is the second new transmission control module going in this vehicle. I just want you to have a little bit of background because you're going to see that the process fails to complete. Uh, the process would be the same if it if it was successful. So just, that's the reason I'm posting the video is because the process would be the same. But it does fail and I did not diagnose it before or after is the reason that it was failing. So you can always post questions if you got some questions or suggestions. Once you click on the SDD, you're going to get a couple of windows open up here. It's going to load some stuff. Once it gets loaded, you click on the blue arrow there. You log in with your username and password. I'm going to skip the LSID information I'm not programming a module that requires security I'm gonna hit continue some warnings safety stuff in general by the way I am using the uh, Ford VCM one to, to perform this process so first thing you need to do is ID the vehicle just like programming a Ford or just about any other vehicle that does automatically ID the vehicle it takes a few seconds to do does a pretty good job of ID in the vehicle and that brings you to a menu that shows you all of the modules that are answering up um, to me the, the information here is not really useful but you do know all the modules that are communicating supposedly once you're on this menu you're going to go up to the recommendations button up there then you're going to scroll down until you see the module replacement functions. Down towards the bottom of the screen. You can see all the stuff you can do to it there. Configured new module is the part we're going after. And it is the transmission control module that we're going to configure. So we're just going to hit this run function here. It says to ensure that the new module has been put in the vehicle. Turn the key on. It's a push button start, so you have to push the button a couple of times to get it to turn on. Here's your battery voltage. I am using a battery maintainer. <clears throat> I'd strongly recommend you do the same thing doesn't take very long to do but you don't want to ruin a new module <clears throat> I turn the key on and off a few times as directed It's going to pull the information off the internet. What we're used to calling as built data, if you're familiar with programming forwards. You can tell that whoever did, did the forward had their hands in this one as well. A lot of similarities, but it is a little different at the same time. So, again, we're going to turn the key on and off as it tells us to here.
I like that it gives you kind of a time stamp from when you start till you finish. You'll see how long it takes exactly. Not really useful, but I guess it's kind of neat to know. It's attempting to ID the transmission control module right now. I did not speed up this part of the process. I didn't want to miss any of these screens that popped up, so bear with the, the blue line. They have changed this process a little bit. It used to be that all of this stuff was already in your program, but now you have to pro download the calibrations as needed, which I think is a lot better because now you don't spend two hours updating your SDD to use it one time. So, again, if you were doing a lot of these, this is probably a pain. But to me, it's easier because I don't use it a lot. So, I'm going to hit tick mark. It's going to go through the list of modules just to make sure everything's still on the network. There's a couple more files I need to download. I'm a little concerned because they say unknown. But we're going to go ahead and choose them anyway because I don't think we had any choice. Now this part of the process I have sped up. It didn't take very long to do, but I did speed up the process just so you didn't have to watch the blue line go across. It took about three minutes to do. It's going to have you turn the key on and off a few times. If you're not familiar with the Land Rover, at this point, once you follow this routine, the little shifter button pops up out of the center console. I had my computer setting on it. It kind of scared me when it popped up, but it was kind of funny. Once it pops up, we're just going to hit the tick to continue. I did have to shift it to neutral. It tells you to hit the tick to continue here. And this, my routine did fail, like I said in the beginning. I did not diagnose why it was failing. Um, the job I was called to do was program the TCM and the customer seemed happy that it was communicating when I was done. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you want to see some more programming videos and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can always ring the bell and you'll get notified when there's new videos out. Have a great day.